So we haven't quite unpacked from the All move right. yet. So we're gonna now, go see the museum. Let's go take a let's go assemble the museum. Let's go. Oh, so there is a museum here still. Yeah. Yeah. So here it is. The difference wow. between thrive and survive. This is the original renderings for the Vortec pump. It's still very similar 20 years later, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I think I think we found it here, man. Let me see. All right, this is this is the original that night in the machine shop. That's the one. Alpha proof look of how concept. He protects it. This is the baby. It's the one that is got bubble wrap and everything. Oh yeah, look at that. It's still got a logo on it. What? So this Here is what you guys go. did that night. Yeah. And Ecotech Marine. So you guys literally stay up all night and all put right, together. Check this out. So this is the magnet. It's got neodymium magnets on it. This will fit on here on the motor. You got a little gasket. And then that's the dry side, so hold that kind of vertically. So here we've got the, the wet side. So we've got a boat prop. This is a model boat prop that we bought. And we've got the magnets here. And uh, they're, they're half north, half south. All right, a bearing design. So we were machining this PVC in acrylic tube. And then this would be the, the glass. So we held this sucker up to the glass, clamped it on, and it transmitted torque through the glass. So and this was the- You guys knew you guys have something. We knew we had something. There we go. After one the night. The original Vortec pump. After one night. Yep. Wow. One, out of, one of one, guys. One of one. Tunzi was the product on the market that was the dominant one. It and, was the dominant one. And it was inspiration for what we've done. And uh, as we would prototype this, um, we ended up having to expand. So this was another iteration. Now, now we've developed the kind of um, spiral here, the classic spiral, great. And you can see the inlets are a little bit smaller actually than that one even. So inlet geometry is very important in pump design. And eventually we come and came up to something that you would more recognize as a Vortec. Yes. Yeah, so when the Radions first came out and as well as uh, the aqua illumination lights, you know, we gave a ton of control to the users where they were never able to change the spectral output of their lights. And traditionally with metal halide and T5, you pick the bulb, right? Plug you in, plug out. Plug it in. If your corals were- Bleach. Bleaching out, you, you reduce the amount of time. That was and the only adjustment. It was the only adjustment. Different bulb, different time. Period. So we gave everybody the ultimate flexibility and what ended up happening is the spectrums were being varied too much and they weren't being, you know, they weren't mimicking exactly what was successful and known to be successful. And at the time, if I remember correctly, the whole craze of LEDs, it was all about how the blue, it makes the corals pop. It was like a whole new pop that we haven't seen yet. Mm -hmm. And once people start getting a hold of these lights, the, the Ecotech, uh, the Gen 1, the Aquilumination saw was the first thing that people were doing introducing a bunch of blue because that's how they wanted to see the aquarium, but it wasn't necessarily what the corals wanted. So I think that was one of the things. I can't pinpoint exactly, and I'm not saying it was a bad lie. I, I do narrow it down to that where there was too many controllables, you know, too many adjustments. And however the situation was, if we didn't like it, if we didn't program it right, we ended up quitting. So fast forward a couple years, me and Patty start talking again, and I give the couple lights a try, and the results were just from the Gen 1 to Gen 3 it was, phenomenal the change and needless to say from three to four you know that was just gigantic that was right. just a big step and by the time that you gen guys three was a little purple yes for a lot of people but by the time you guys came with gen four i seen like, literally you guys walk into my facility today uh, we have over 300 of these lights i don't think there's a single t5 no metal highlights the entire facility running strictly on LEDs from Ecotech Marine, uh, Gen 4s, and the retail right now. We have switched it into Gen 5s, and we're working into switching the rest. But uh, I'm very pleased with that, man. It's just, it really shows all the technology, and after seeing all the facility today, it shows why you guys are, are who you guys are and, and continue to develop a product to, to help the aquarium hobby, you know? It's just, you guys really killing it, man. 
So tomorrow we're going to have uh, fun. We're going to go riding. Yep. Looking forward to it. It's been a little while, you know. We're going to take Tommy. He's hiding behind the camera over there. He's smiling. He's ready for some action. And uh, all right, let's go have some fun. All right. We're here at the Ecotech headquarters in Pennsylvania, and we have a special treat for you guys. Actually, it's my first time going out with everyone. Josh and Victor has done it before, but apparently we're going to go on an epic journey. Let's just say that. So we'll show you what we're up to. Jay, how crazy is the, what we're about to experience? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a good time. We're going to have a good time. All right. Deal. <laughs> you getting nervous? Am I nervous? Yeah, I'm nervous. I am. Depends what you're riding on or in. Yeah. It's funny, actually. The back, the I'm riding in the back of this with Victor. With that, it's like, <laughs> you're riding with that. You're actually having a crazier experience. Yeah. Josh, tell us about this beast. Well, it's black and blue. It's got four wheels. Hopefully, we keep them on the ground. <laughs> what kind of engine? 400 cc. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, we're just uh, here to have a little fun all on the dirt. Give us the highlights. What's gonna happen? Oh, let's hope everybody gets home safe. That's all uh, my, my goal is.
Okay, with me. Take it back. Take it back, Dan. Try and hit it again. Yeah. Can you do it? Wanna do it yourself? You want me to do it? Please. Okay. I got you. Got it? Yep. Take a break. I'm spent. You're gonna take somebody to grab the front rim. Ooh, one of the most challenging things I ever had to do. I gotta lose a little more weight. Couple more pounds to go, fellas. Hashtag not so easy money today. Josh says hashtag not so easy money today. The wind chips me now. The wind will provide stability. We'll just get the, the front wheel starts to come up. Go, 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 go! What'd you think? What'd you think? Well, when we came up around here, remember it went More troubles. Stopped and <laughs> it isn't. No big deal, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> In the event of a med medical emergency, call 911. <laughs> call your friends. Yeah.